The 3D structure scan is available on the Carbon and the Gen 3 models at the time of this DVD. It requires a structure scan, 3D skimmer, and the 3D module. The 3D module connects to your Lorentz through Ethernet, so you can view 3D on more than one Lorentz. The 3D transducer has more elements in it than the regular side scan transducer. You can see fish on side scan, but you can't tell where they are in the water column. The 3D transducer will show where they are in the water column like this. The 3D transducer can also show you the shape or structure. Like this image, it shows a drop off. I will use the HDS Gen 3 built-in simulator using a recorded file from my pro staffer Mark O'Neill to demonstrate the 3D and go through the settings. Some of the settings I cannot change when it's in simulator and I'll tell you that when I do it. I'll still be able to explain how to do them. I will also have some screenshots from my pro staffer Kurt Hedquist and I'll use them for examples. Now let's use the simulator and uh, show you how the 3D works. First of all, you'll notice the prop wash. Oh, it started over again. I, what, I have a file in here, and so it's just going to run over and over and over again. But the uh, prop wash are the bubbles that come in a two straight lines behind the boat. You can see them starting right uh, the form. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And so you, you have the bottom. The bottom is not as clear as regular side imaging. I think it's just because there's so much information to process. Now, as you move along, you see that the boat turns. Now you can do a few things. The, the, you notice here they have um, a rotation icon and then they have what I call the cursor icon. So when we're on this, I can touch the chart and rotate it. Notice how I rotate it this way. I can rotate it like this so you have more of a down view and I can rotate it up. So you can have a, a different view in a second if you want to. Notice the drop off. You notice right here that it is higher and then it drops off over that boat. We'll discuss that boat later. The other icon is the cursor icon. Notice up at the top, and all of a sudden now you've got history. Now you can go back in history if you would like to. Notice all the, I'm moving my finger, dragging it across, and you're going back in history. You want to get it off that, you go here. Top, that returns you to the center and you start over. That's the top icon. When you're in the cursor mode is the only time you can create a waypoint. Notice I've created a waypoint on top of that boat. Now if I want to, I can put one right here. So I touch the screen, I touch wake, new waypoint, and I'll put that as a, touch that as a boat again. So now we have two boat icons over this sunken boat. Clear the cursor. Notice the red line going to the, from the boat icon to the bottom. That's telling you how, where the boat is sitting over the bottom. Now we've started over again. But like I said, I'm replaying this file. It just keeps playing over and over again. Let's zoom in again so we can see th things a little better. Notice it's telling you that it's 134 feet, 133. That's telling you the range. The blue triangle is the coverage area that you're viewing. Notice the fish. The fish are suspended in the column. You can, remember I said you can't see them with regular side scan? So you'll have fish over here on the right side and let's just uh, do a little rotation so we can see them. Oh. 
They're off to the side. Along the side there. The bigger fish are orange, the smaller fish are blue. You do have a sensitivity which um, is in the view. In a target sensitivity, you can adjust that. It does not work on a simulator. Um, but if you tap it, you can adjust it and change the way that uh, the fish show up. Now what I do is that at the present software, which is probably going to change, it depends on what software you're using, and they, Lawrence keeps changing it. You know, at a minus 40, it was best to remove the uh, prop wash and still be able to see fish targets. Touch back. Now let's go through some of the settings. Let's clear the cursor. Let's look at view. Under view, it has a vertical enhancement. If you touch that, you have these choices. Now what it does is it changes, uh, small changes in depth and makes them bigger. Now let's just zoom out so we can see it better. And let me turn the boat like this. Or turn, and Let's go to none. See how it flattens everything out? Low, medium, and high. Now when you look at it, it, it accentuates the drop-off. I've been running mine on low and medium. Uh, I still haven't found what I think is the best at this time, but those seem to work fine for me. Now, clear live history. What it does is that any history that you see on there is gone. So if you drove back over something and it started overlapping and said, I don't want to do that, I want to clear it. So you just touch it and you clear it. Now you're starting over. View lock is on. I'm going to touch view lock. What view lock does is it keeps the boat and the view like you're looking down with the boat going straight ahead. Wait, you'll notice the boat icon, it's turning now. And so, also there's a cool thing, you can see that boat there on the left side, and you can see it's on the drop off and there's harder bottom on the right side. The white is the harder bottom, and you can see it's sloping off down into the boat, which is sitting in more mud. You also see the prop wash very well here. Now I'm going to touch the screen again. Oh, no I'm not. I'm going to touch view lock. Notice how it's turning to going to the side. Let's touch view lock and what it'll do is it'll bring the boat and have it going straight again. Notice how it did that. Let's talk about a few things. There's your prop wash. And you can get rid of that with a target sensitivity. Now, if I touch the cursor, I can go back in history and, ooh, we've got to zoom out if we're going to do that. But you can go back and look at things. You can say, oh, I want to just see. Now, notice it doesn't rotate when you touch it. So that's a boat that's sitting off to the side. These are fish that are off to the side. Orange is bigger fish, blue is smaller fish. Prop wash. Now, let's clear the cursor. Notice 3D is activated right here. If you touch that, you're not on 3D. So if you first turn on your unit and you want to see 3D, you have to touch it. Uh, you have to have this view on the regular side scan and left and right or 3D doesn't work. Let's show you. I'll touch that. If I have it down, we go back and say I want to, I want 3D, it won't work. It has to be in one of these, left, right, left only or right only. Go back and now you can activate the 3D. You can change the palette if you'd like.
the, probably the best palette, you know, the black and white ones work actually pretty good. The, uh, now that part of the simulator, it may not work with that. Oh, I guess it is. Certain things do and certain things don't with a simulator. So let's zoom in after I go back. Now here you can see, see how that leading edge on the right side is higher? That means it's shallower on the right and deeper on the left. And it, this is, uh, if you were using regular side scan, you can't tell that. You can't tell that the left side is a drop off. So, just another tool to help you catch more fish. Let's go over some examples. This screenshot shows too much prop wash. I took it before I knew about the target sensitivity feature that can reduce the prop wash like I showed you earlier. These fish are suspended crappies. This view, I am looking down at my 3D history. The crappies are circled. Even with the prop wash so noticeable, you could easily pick out the crappies. This is a different view of the crappies. I use the rotation icon to change the view by touching the screen, moving my finger around. Now I'm using the cursor view to place the cursor on the crappies to make it and create a waypoint on them. Then I can drive back and vertically fish them with jigs and then later I'll have fish tacos for supper. This view is a good example of a drop off with hard bottom and soft bottom transition at the base of the drop off. This summer I will learn more and keep sharing my tips with you about Structure Scan 3D.